Hi, I'm Colin Benny with Reebok, and you've tuned in to our workout of the week in partnership with Roadrunner Sports. Today, I want to tell you about some exercises and stretches that you can hopefully fit into your routines coming up during some of the travel that you might be facing heading into the holidays. As you can see, I'm in a hotel right now. I traveled myself just yesterday for a race up in Michigan, and these are a few different things that I fit into my travel day. There's some really good, easy, lower body exercises and stretches that you can do while you're sitting on a plane, sitting in a car, waiting around at the airport, whatever. Really simple, easy things that like that are going to really help you feel right up to speed and have no problem getting right back out into a run as soon as you get to where you're going. All right, here you go. So the first few exercises I'd recommend you guys incorporating into the long car rides or plane rides you may have in the upcoming holiday season are just some simple calf raises from the seated position. So like they sound, simply all you wanna do is just have your legs about shoulder width apart, sit up with good posture, and just think about pressing down with your toes into the ground and really raising those heels up. Um, like that, like a standing calf raise, you know, all you're looking to do is just kind of really feel a little bit of work in your calves feel like you're getting some extra work in the Achilles and just really getting some mobility. You can do you know, one foot at a time. You can do both feet at the same time, but you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps for each foot for both feet is recommended. And you know, if you have a long car ride or a long plane ride, maybe do it every hour or so. Just you know, like that to keep some good blood flow down in the lower legs and avoid you getting too tight down there and like that, take advantage of a little bit of extra time you have to strengthen calves a little bit and really you know, work those Achilles and keep everything healthy. The next exercises that I will recommend for you, kind of, kind of do them in, in unison. So what they are, are they're gonna be focusing mostly on sort of ankle mobility and strength as well as some strength in the muscles along the front of your leg that like that you just don't really take a lot of time out of your day to strengthen on a regular basis. So for these, what you're gonna do is, if you don't have a lot of space, don't worry, just keep your leg a little bit raised off the ground, but if you have the space to do it, you wanna think about bringing your knee to your chest like this, and all you're gonna do is, while keeping your leg as stationary as possible down through the ankle, you're just gonna try to draw circles with your toes. And now with this, you wanna do maybe 10 or 15 in the clockwise direction, followed by 10 or 15 in the counterclockwise direction. And essentially, all that's doing is like that, you know, just trying to strengthen your ankle in both directions, really helps for ankle mobility. If you've ever rolled your ankle, you'll know that a little extra strength and flexibility through the ankle will be really helpful in making sure that you don't do any lasting damage. Um, so, Exactly that, 10 or 15 on the right leg, 10 or 15 on the left leg, same thing, you know, do 10 or 15 counterclockwise, then when you're done with those, go 10 or 15 clockwise. Um, like that, it's really important to just make sure what you're doing on one leg, you're doing on the other. Even if you have a lot of problems on one side, it's really useful to make sure that the other side stays just as strong. Um, the last exercise that I recommend for you guys, especially from a seated position, is very similar to sort of the, the ankle circles. And really what you're gonna be focused on here is once again, a little bit of ankle mobility, but you're also gonna be strengthening the muscles down through the front of your leg here to sort of offset some of the extra strength that you're getting in your calves from some of the calf raises that you guys are all gonna be doing. Um, for this, similar, good posture, bring your knee up if you can, then all you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of bring that toe back up to your knee as far as possible, and then push those toes down. Once again, same as, this, same as the circles, same as the calf raises, think about doing these in sets of 10 to 15. If you have longer rides, don't be afraid to do a few sets of each, a few sets of everything. Um, like that, it should be a really good way to spend your time when you're otherwise just sitting stationary, and you know, really good idea to take advantage of some of the time you have to strengthen some of those muscles that you don't often think about um, on a daily day or day to day basis. But here you are, you know, got a lot of time on the planes and in the cars to really focus on 
helping out your lower body and making sure that you stay healthy and strong through the um, through all your running in the holiday season. Thank you all for tuning in for this workout of the week presented by Roadrunner Sports. I'm Colin Benny with Reebok and like that, I hope that you're gonna incorporate some of these good exercises into some of your upcoming travels for the holiday season. And even if it's not for travel, think about doing it when you're sitting on the couch at home. Um, they're all good exercises and like that, keeping the keeping your body from the knee down happy is very important to becoming a better runner and just overall staying happy and healthy. Uh, wish you all the best this holiday season and then hope everybody stays healthy out there.